When I received the initial brief for I Am Groot, um, I was just really intrigued by the fact that Marvel wanted to do a series of shorts with this wonderful, adorable character that also happened to be one of my favorites of all time in the MCU. Um, I'm a huge plant enthusiast. I also have a soft spot for unconventional and like non-human superheroes. Uh, so, you know, also the, the fact that they were all largely without dialogue really appealed to me and was totally in my wheelhouse from what I had done previously in my work. Uh, so it felt like a, like a really perfect fit. Um, and we've had a lot of fun uh, really, you know, digging into Groot's childhood and exploring what makes him tick and what makes him such a unique and mischievous little character. So we had a, a lot of fun collaborating with James Gunn, who was the original creator of Baby Groot. Um, he, we had fantastic meetings with him all throughout the process. He gave us incredible story notes. Um, and even going back to our very first meeting, we sort of just sat down and discussed uh, what makes this character tick. I wanted to make sure that I really did this character justice since it was his uh, vision and his creation. Um, and he gave me a couple fun tidbits of inspiration. Um, one of which being that uh, I should think of Groot like an emoji guy, um, who, uh, which kind of is very, um, um, it's so helpful uh, because, you know, with an emoji, all you need is really one simple look or expression and you totally understand the whole emotion of the scene. Um, and I think that's really what James was getting at um, with, you know, with this character. Uh, I really relate with Baby Groot, who is essentially a toddler because I have my own toddler at home. So I'm sort of living the Baby Groot life on a daily basis and know it very, very well. Um, I also think Baby Groot is so wonderful because even if you know you don't have your own kids, it's very easy to uh, see yourself in him and remember what it was like to be a kid, um, you know, who sometimes was really sweet and made the right choices, but also sometimes really got into trouble and made some questionable decisions. Uh, he's very universal in that way.